My FPS sucks. Let's do something about it. So, I'm playing Fallout 4 here, and my FPS is crap. I got my 4K display, and since then I have wanted to play my games in ultra high definition. It is possible to play the game in ultra high definition with my current graphics card, but the whole game is an eyesore. All the shadows are crap, all the textures are crap, the lighting is crap, and the frame rate is crap. It runs a bit smoother if you're not running traps on the background, but it's still like an eyesore. This is no way to play a game. I think it's time to upgrade my graphics card. So, today we'll be slapping this thing into the computer and see what happens. Today we'll be installing Asus Strix R9390 graphics card, which is one of the AMD's top of the line cards at the moment. The card comes in at a pretty attractive 350-ish euro price point and it's semi-affordable for serious gamer. It comes in a neat box with all the accessories on the top box. There is uh, all the needed stuff like the manual, which no one's gonna read. There's the driver CD and some ASUS uh, sticker with some power adapter and some card for a game. Underneath the cover is the GPU itself, which comes packaged, packaged in a ESD bag as usual. And one noteworthy thing there is that this card is just absolutely massive. I'm pretty sure it won't fit in all computer cases and that is why I had to upgrade my case just in order to fit this card. The card has a 3 fan huge cooler with 10 mm heat pipes that carry the heat from the GPU core to the aluminum fins. As you can see the card is massive compared to my old card which just barely fit in my case. The 390 has a nice aluminum backplate with the printed OWL logo on it. One thing I like about this card are these connectors that are flipped 180 degrees, so you don't have to push your finger between the card and the heatsink in order to get the power cables off. The card also includes some status LEDs for the power connectors and one decorative LED screen on the side. On the same go we're gonna slap some LED fans into the case. I chose red color because that's the theme of my build. To front I chose static pressure optimized 140mm fans from Corsair and to the back of the case the same series airflow optimized fan. CPU fan will also be swapped out for an LED fan. So, the first thing to do when tinkering with electronics is to turn off the power. Don't go poking in there while the computer is still running. Like seriously. First thing to do is take off the side panel of the case. Mine just has a quick latch mechanism so I can just yank it out. Then I located the fan connector and disconnected the front fans. Then it's just an easy matter of unscrewing them. Installing the new fans is the same process but in reverse. Just have to run the cables back to the holes they came from. At this point it is important to disconnect all the cables from the graphics card or you're gonna have some fun times a bit later. Also, you need to take off the power connector that goes into your graphics card. Be careful not to damage anything as it can be quite tricky to get off. Then it's just a simple matter of taking a screwdriver and unscrewing the display driver. 
depending on your car there is one, two or three screws that mount it to the chassis. Here I also changed the CPU fan as it was on the way to get to the latch of the PCIe slot. Latch has to be opened in order to pull out the card. Then you do the same in reverse and insert your new card. Align it carefully and notice that there is no force needed here. Here I had to figure out how to connect the power connectors as the graphics card wants an 8-pin one and mine has two 6-pin ones plus the two ground pins that I can attach to the side making the 8-pin connector. As you can see this thing barely fits in here. Then check that the card is still in place and it's time to screw it in. Off camera I installed the new LED fan to the CPU mounts and here I'm installing it to the heatsink. It's just a matter of clicking the fan mounts in place and poking the connector into the motherboard CPU header. Here the airflow optimized fan appeared to the back of the case. Just screw it in like any other fan. Now you're pretty much done. Now what's left to do is see whether it runs. Yeah, looks nice. The graphics card itself has a funky LED light with the Strix logo. It's pulsing on and off constantly and you can't control it from the software. You're stuck with it, but I don't think it looks that bad. Here the fans are only case illumination that is on, except for the graphics card and the small LED display on the motherboard. It fills the case with nice red light, without any additional LED lights. The new R9390 has over doubled the performance of the HD7870 card that I had previously. As you can see, the changing of the graphics card over doubled the performance of the computer's graphics on 3D Mark. Some graphics tests even run over 100 FPS, which is nice. Here you have to know that the resolution was the stock, which is under full HD. My old card was able to run Fallout 4 with ultra high details, a bit under 50 FPS average. The new card can run the game capped to 60 FPS on ultra high detail with full HD picture. Upgrade pushed the average FPS from 15 to over 30 FPS on ultra high definition, running the graphics on ultra. If the frame rate drops under 30 FPS, the game starts stuttering and it doesn't look nice at all. It's almost impossible to play. I still can't play Fallout 4 on 4K, all the settings maxed out, but it's still very very nice looking game to play, and now it's actually playable in 4K if you drop the details a little bit. I didn't try disabling the anti-aliasing, which is not really needed on 4K displays anymore. It is quite easy to actually change a graphics card on a computer. It just takes some know-how and some dare to do it. Considering the price, I don't think this makes for a great weekend project as 400 something euros is not exactly walking around money. It took about half an hour to change the GPU, so time consumption is not a big deal. I would say it's totally worth it.